The $754 million it costs to build Eskenazi Hospital without a tax increase has to be the crying achievement of Matt Gutwein's career. But how the money to build the entire health care system was raised was quite controversial. Former HHC president and CEO Matt Gutwein found a legal way to divert more than a billion dollars of Medicaid reimbursement funds meant for nursing homes to the larger Marion County health care system, which left HHC's network of nursing homes vulnerable to failing ratings and lawsuits alleging poor care. As a result of the coronavirus pandemic this spring, HHC's 78 long-term care facilities now account for 427 COVID-19 resident deaths. That's about double what its total should be, considering its population. A problem that Indianapolis Director of Public Health and Safety and HHC's new interim president, Paul Babcock, will now have to address. Sit down with the long-term care team, take a look at you know, operations and everything. HHC promises next year more than 60% of the money it gets through Medicaid reimbursement will actually go back into its nursing homes. That's about 20% more than what it spent in the past. We need to know how the money is being spent. Did that go in, in for kids, uh, care to help, you know, people who are in nursing homes are often visiting the hospital or they're getting sick? Is it working with seniors? Is it making it more accessible? Is that to help pay for better ambulances so the runs are safe? Like, I just need to know. HHC has also promised an audit of its long-term care facilities. You know, we got to continue to be vigilant about COVID, um, flu. Uh, as the board passed uh, a resolution a couple months ago about doing a, a review, uh, of the nursing homes, work with the board to continue to do that. The HHC 2021 budget is up before the City County Council next month, while the board has launched a nationwide search for its next president and CEO. At Eskenazi Hospital, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Well,